It's time to explore what intent action does and how to set the action. We'll also look at intent data as well as mime type and intent category. An intent action gives a high level description of the work you need performed. Some actions are very specific. For example, the call action places a phone call. The airplane mode settings action opens the airplane mode panel in the device settings. And the still image camera action opens the camera to take a photo. Other actions are not very specific. In fact, the actions you will use most of the time are quite general. For example, the view action is used to launch a browser, show a location on a map, or play music. The send to action is used to send an email or a text message. And the pick action is used to let the user select an image, a contact, etc. This means that the action by itself is not usually sufficient to determine which activity should service your request. The action does narrow things down for Android, though. For example, if your intent uses the send to action, Android knows it can eliminate all activities except things like email and messaging. Actions are specified using strings, and the intent class has a predefined string for many common actions. Hard-coded action strings in your app are error-prone, so Android defines many symbolic constants you should use. Strings for common actions like view, dial, pick, edit, etc. are defined in the intent class. Strings for specialized actions are typically included in the classes that work with those operations. For example, Media Store has action strings for photo and video capture. Alarm Clock has action strings for timer and alarm operations. Settings has action strings to open the settings panel, i.e. airplane mode settings. Some action constants are packaged with the classes they are associated with. For example, you use Media Store action image capture to take a photo. You have two choices to set an intense action pass a string to the constructor or call the set action method and pass a string. You should use the symbolic constants for the strings intent action view instead of Android intent action view. Intent data is a single piece of information you load into an intent for use by the target activity. The Android documentation will generally tell you what to use for the data. The data is the value the target activity will process for you. For example, the phone dialer expects its data to be a phone number it should dial. The web browser expects the data to be a web address it should load. The data has another role that is more important to Android than it is to you. In some cases, it helps Android decide which activity to launch for you. For example, the combination of action view and data with a geo scheme tells Android to launch a map activity. The combination of action view and data having an HTTP scheme would cause Android to launch the web browser activity. It is not your job to determine what to use for the data format. The Android documentation will generally tell you exactly what the data should look like. Note that the data URI scheme is used for intent resolution only when the intent does not have an explicit MIME type set. If the intent does have a MIME type set, then that explicit value is used for the intent resolution and no type is inferred from the scheme. Use the setData method to load data into an intent. There are also constructor overloads that take the data as a parameter. Note that the data is an Android URI. Use the Android Net URI parse method to convert from a string to an Android URI. The MIME type indicates the type of data you want the intent to manipulate, and it helps Android determine which activity to launch. The Android documentation will generally tell you what to use for the MIME type. The MIME type tells Android the type of data you'll be working with. For example, if you're sending the details for a new calendar event, you can use the MIME type to tell Android you want it to find an activity that can receive your event and load it into a calendar. If you're asking Android to let the user select a file, you can specify what type of file you're looking for, i.e. an image file. Remember, it's not your job to determine what to use for the MIME type. The Android documentation will generally tell you exactly what to use and when to use it. This topic gets quite complex. If you don't set a MIME type explicitly, Android tries to infer it from the data. If the data is using a content URI scheme that maps to a data provider, then Android can get the MIME type information from the content provider. The MIME type is used in intent resolution. However, if there's no MIME type set inside the intent and the data scheme is not content, then Android uses its intent scheme, i.e. geo or HTTP, in intent resolution. Use the set type method to set the MIME type in an intent. Note that set data and set type are mutually exclusive. Calling either of these clears the values set by the other. There is a set data and type method for the rare cases when you need to set both. A category is a group of activities that share some characteristic. For example, 
Activities that act as settings panels would declare that they belong to category preference. A category restricts the kind of activity you would like to handle your intent. Every activity that offers its services to other activities can specify that they belong to one or more categories. When you create an intent, you can say that you only want activities from a certain category to handle your request. In other words, if you include a category in your intent, it limits which activities Android will consider as a match for your request. If your intent includes multiple categories, Android will only consider activities that declare they are a member of all the categories in your intent. To launch most activities, you will not need to set a category in your intent. The word category is common in the intent documentation, so it's still useful to understand the basic idea. Use the Add Category method to add one or more categories to an intent. You can call the method multiple times if you need to add more than one category. Categories are specified using strings. The intent class defines symbolic constants for the standard categories. Extras are specified using strings. A few predefined strings are in the intent class, but most are packaged in the classes they work with. Intent data lets you pass a single piece of information to an activity you're starting. Sometimes that's not enough and you need to send several pieces of information. For example, when starting the email compose activity, you might want to pass the recipient's address, the subject, some starter text for the body of the message, etc. You use intent extras to pass this type of information. The documentation will generally tell you which keys to use when you load this information into the intent extras bundle.